we have high expectations for our senior class and um, you know they're kids I think that really represent Lehigh as great students, as great athletes, as great leaders and I think one of the strong points of this class will be the leadership that they provide to you know relatively a pretty inexperienced team when you look at you know the graduation of two four-year starters last year in Alexa and Emily you know going into this season probably diff a little bit different in that a lot of new faces um, a lot of upperclassmen that will be playing that haven't played before and some freshmen that will be playing that haven't played before so with all of that I think one of the probably the one of the most important things to our success is going to be the leadership that our four seniors provide to us. Lehigh again goes long looking for Gooman in stride makes the layup what a pass by Gratch. Great job. You know, I think we have so we have a combination of some um, upperclassmen that have played behind Alexa and Emily and really didn't get a lot of opportunities um, that are ready to step up and, and have an opportunity and compete and be on the floor. And you know, I think the benefits of them they've been in our system, they understand it. You know, they've played behind two pretty good players, two of the best you know post players in our league, and um, I think are ready to prove themselves. And you know, that combined with a couple freshmen that that we feel have the ability to step in as freshmen this year. And contribute and um, you know so I think it'll be a combination of probably four or five kids that do what Emily and Alexa did for us but you know I like our depth at the post position um, and it's real competitive and a lot of kids that are ready to, to step up and prove themselves there so I don't think it'll necessarily be one or two like we've had in the past I think it's going to be a combination of a number of different kids that are going to provide um, minutes and, and um, scoring and defense for us. Struggling lately, I saw her early in the year and really liked her at the point guard spot. Wow, five Kelly for five, Kelly Peterson. Kelly's, you know, I think another player who, you know, kind of had to start to have a breakout season last year as a junior for us. Um, you know, real strong perimeter shooter. Um, you know, great, great range on her three-point shot. You know, also has the ability to be pretty creative with the ball off the dribble and and um, do some different things, um, you know, other than just three-point shooting. So, you know, looking at her is, is you know, she's going to play a big role for us this year in terms of somebody who I think is ready to kind of step up and be more of kind of a go-to player on the perimeter for us. And, you know, with her size at 5'11 at a guard, like I said, not only can she shoot the three, but she has the ability to play um, around the basket and be pretty creative around the basket as well. So. You know, for us, expecting a lot of things from her, not only in terms of her leadership, but her play on the court as well. Weaver now in a hurry at the offensive end, turns the corner, lays it up and in. Where have we seen that move before? That was a crosser. I think Hillary came in as a sophomore in our program last year and had some big shoes to fill with Erica Prosser graduating. And, you know, I thought for Hillary had a great sophomore year for us and, and played really solid. You know, had some injuries at the end of the season that, that I think kind of hampered her. Um, but, you know, coming into this year has had a real strong preseason for us and, you know, the development of Mary Beth Egan, too, at the point guard, uh, I think is also going to be really effective for us. You know, we really relied on Hillary for 30, 35 minutes a game last year and I think that kind of took its toll on her towards the end of the season and I think the combination of the two of them at the point guard, Mary Beth and Hillary, um, is really going to help our program this year, too, and a lot of competition at that spot. Williams with the basketball, going two on three, a little pull up from the foul line. She rattles home her first two. Differential between the game and shot clock. Sarah Williams, it won't go. There's O'Reilly. Yes, and a foul. Has O'Reilly been aggressive or what in this overtime? Sarah and Katie have both had, you know, Sarah was hampered a little bit in this fall by a knee injury, but she's back from that and is in full swing with practice. So, um, you know, is, is coming along. Katie's had a great preseason and real strong start to the season for to the practice season for us and expecting big things from both of them I think you know they're both freshmen last year that got significant minutes for us and um, feel real comfortable I think you know as sophomores now understand what the system looks like where they're going to get their shots and um, both kids have pretty high level of basketball IQ too and bring a lot to the floor there and you know, Katie's a tremendous athlete who can defend, who can rebound, who can score it, and who really understands the game too, and is one of those players who just makes the players around her a better basketball player because of her understanding of the game too. So, you know, both kids I think that, that need to step up for us this year. All over. Yeah. And another turnover. This is Gooman. Gooman down, up, and in. So Becky Goldman with the I'm confident in our young kids. Um, I'm confident, honestly, in our seniors, too. Another one we didn't talk about was Becky Goldman, who's just a tremendous leader for our program. 
just one of those gritty kids that, that helps you win in a lot of different ways, whether it's defending, rebounding, scoring in transitions and different things. So I really think the combination of what we have in terms of kind of the youth and inexperience combined with the leadership of our upperclassmen um, puts us in a position that we can be comp real competitive in the league. Anything in particular right now, it's just that you're really excited to get the season started. Um, just to, you know, for us it's real, it's just, it's going to be a different team because in the past two or three years we kind of knew who we had and knew who was in those positions and, and kind of knew what to expect and it'll be a very different look Lehigh team in terms of the faces on the court this year. I think we have a lot more depth and a lot more players and that will rotate through than we've had in the past and um, just excited about that, always excited kind of when you turn a team over, which we did. Um, you know about what's going to step up and, and be there and, and I think there's there's a lot of things a lot of good things there a lot of promise there that I'm kind of excited to see when it when games start for us.